Hello again. I've got this rim cylinder, Ruco lock. I've never picked the Ruco open before. I've got it amongst a load of rim cylinder locks I bought off eBay, but there was all Yales and uh, various ones. But this one's a Ruco, and I've seen them picked, but I've never had the chance of picking one. So I have actually picked it earlier. But what I'm going to attempt to do now is what I did in my previous video of picking a rim cylinder lock. I'm going to actually do it by using the tail piece of the lock as the tensioning in part. So if we put that in the vise, we can get it in like so. Now the one I did the other day was a real cheap and nasty one and you could have picked it open with your finger to be honest. So I'm gonna try using the same method but with a Ruco and I've heard these are quite quite challenging locks to pick and then we're going to gut it and see what's inside it i've got no key for this so yeah we'll try to pick it and use that as the the tension method so i have picked it like i say before but i've not picked it this way i picked it in my hand with a uh with a normal tension tool, so I'm not one for picking in the vice. I don't really like picking in vice. I know sometimes you've got no choice, but I much prefer picking in my hand. You do get there. You go. You do get nice feedback because. You can feel it all in your fingers. So, and somebody told me actually the other day that, because I thought when I did it for the first time, I did it by off chance, but somebody told me they do it in competitions, in speed competitions, they tension it like this. So it certainly weren't my idea. But uh, yeah, it's a great way of tensioning. So we're going to gut this now and see what's inside it. So... Yeah, I take it. I've not gutted one of these before. So I'm taking it. You have to take these little screws out, which I've already got. Oh, you're joking, it, yeah? Can you add them in, Eve? I've just locked it back up. <laughs> Only I could do that. Now, I guarantee you, I'm not going to be able to pick this again because it's just... It's just the way the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Can you add them and Eve it? Oh, right. Let's try again then. Only I could do something like that. I've done that in the past. I ought to do a, a collection of... Uh, videos of all the errors I've made it'd go on for hours it'd be an epic movie I think put pressure on myself now because I just I've just got that gut feeling that it's not going to play ball now and I know once you've picked it once you think you can pick it again but locks don't work like that I've always described it as playing golf. You can go out one week and do an all in one, but you ain't gonna do that every time. Oh, we've got it. Right, we've got it the second time now. I do apologise. This video is gonna gonna drag on a bit, in it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna if I twist it around and lock. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed when I'm gutting it. I'll speed the video up because it's just gonna go on forever. So I just gotta be careful, <laughs> careful not to do that again. I'm trying to think if I. 
No. Right. So if we hold onto, onto it there to stop it spinning, easier said than done. There we are. I will speed this up at some stage because it's going to go on forever. I'm, if you've seen me gut a lot before, you'll know that I'm useless at it. There we go, that's it. Right, so... That's them. Oh, what was that? Oh, I don't got a clue what that is. Well, that's just fell out of it. You can tell I don't do these that often. Right. So. Right, here we go. Alright, let's have a look what's in there then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my posh pinning tray today. Just a bit of paper folded up. So I can get this camera a bit better for you. Right. Number one. Oh, what was that? Okay. So there's... Oh, come here, little bugger. So there's two. You can see that. There's two bits to that. So that's obviously... It's probably because there's a master key for it or something. I'm going to speed up the video now with a bit of Ben Eel. You can't beat a bit of Ben Eel. Well, that's it. There's all, <laughs> there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here. I've never picked a lock with so many little bits and pieces falling out of it. So I'll put some pictures of that on the end of the video. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's a Ruko, picked and gutted using the device and the towel piece as a tension method. Sorry this has dragged on for so long. And now as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Try a bit.